Welcome back to my channel everybody, Francisco Maya. You know, I always do videos to help you out on the road or to repair your own truck or if you are a mechanic too, I always helping you. But uh, we have another video. Another video that we're going to talk about and is going to be about this transmission that I have right here with me. Uh, this transmission came out out of this truck that I have next to me, this green truck over here. This, what happened is and uh, the truck was uh, running with no problems, but the owner of the truck knew that there was a transmission leak. The leak was right where the radiator goes. There is a cooler for the transmission for the Cascadias. So uh, there was a line that was leaking a drip of oil each time. So uh, they kept driving the truck like that. They didn't fix that until they forgot about it. Then that was the problem that was going on with this truck. So as consequence, we have here the damage that this transmission suffered. You can clearly see that the top of the transmission is completely off. And as soon as we focus some light on it, we can see all the damage that is going on right on the transmission. This right here, this teeth over here, that one right here is something that you don't see every day. See, that one is completely flattened. It has no teeth at all. See, if I move the transmission, it has nothing. It has no teeth at all. So how that happened? See, all the other teeth are the same way. We have a lot of damage all over the place. But this one right here is the one that suffered the most. So if you wonder how this happened, it's simple. I already explained you that this truck has some problems with the transmission cooling lines then where to the radiator, to the cooler of the radiator. So uh, the transmission ran out of oil. So as consequence, the transmission start creating a lot of friction because the oil is not just a lubrication for the transmission. The uh, oil also keeps the temperature low on the transmission and also it keeps the transmission clean because the oil has different type of additives that help to cool and clean the transmission. And in general, any oil does that. I mean, engine oil, transmission oil, differential oil, uh, hydraulic oil, they all have that uh, abilities, we can, I can say. So, um, but in this case, the damage on this transmission is a severe damage in a way then uh, we can clearly see then it is one, two, three, four, five over here. There's another one over there, another teeth that is damaged over there. Uh, six in the sea, how many more? The sea, six, uh, and seven. We have another one here. Uh, eight, right here. Nine, we have another one. Ten, see another one over here. Another one with damage. Uh, So we have 10 different gears that suffer damage because of this. So the rep uh, repair for this transmission is going to be super expensive because we have many different gears that were completely destroyed by this and some others were damaged, which means then they have to be replaced. Um, eh, in this case, uh, this one right here was the one that suffered the major damage and this one was the one that started throwing things to the other ones because you know all the metal all the things that were breaking uh they were just like going all over the place because of the uh oil then was still there throwing everything and plus the uh, motion of the transmission is going to throw everything away if you have a question, and your question will be how expensive will be to repair this problem? Uh, that will be a, a good question. The um, cost of this repair will depend on what type of transmission you have. In this case, this transmission specifically is a 10-speed transmission. A 10-speed transmission 
there is a different variety of 10 speed transmissions. In this case, for Cascadias, uh, it's going to be uh, one style, but it's going to have different ratios. So, uh, the pricing for this one, a reveal one, probably is going to be around like, probably like around, around like $3,000, something like that. That is how much you're gonna pay for this transmission, $3,000. So, uh, for other transmissions, because you have nine, 13, 15, and 18, the nine and the 13 are going to be around like, probably like, like $3,000, almost $4,000. The 18s are going to be like $5,000. 15 and 18s are going to be like $5,000, which uh, that is going to be super expensive, but that only includes the transmission. You are not including oil, you're not including uh, seals, uh, clutch if you are going to replace it, labor, and some other parts that you need after you replace uh, a transmission. Um, the thing is this, I mean, when you are replacing a transmission, at the same time you are replacing a transmission, you have to do many things. You have to replace the clutch, you have to replace the rear motor mounts will be the uh, right moment to do it. The rear main seal, uh, free surface, the fly will all replace it with a new one, which is going to be the better, uh, the better thing to do because you have to replace to uh, the fly with a new one. That way you get the exact measurement of the uh, transmission, I mean the transmission and the clutch distance. So that way every time you press the clutch, it's going to be right on point. So um, uh, that is going to be like super expensive. That is going to be around like $7,000, $8,000 just to do a transmission job. Now, if you reuse parts, if you do uh, use parts, like for example, you get a used transmission and you reuse all the clothes and everything like that is going to be way cheaper, probably around like $4,000. But uh, you are going to get uh, pretty much the same thing what you had. I mean, you, you, you won't know if the transmission is in a good condition. The transmission could be in a good condition, but because it's a used transmission, you don't know for how long because anything can go bad. But uh, in resume, the point of this video was to show you what is, what is the consequence of running out of oil on your transmission. As you can see right here on this transmission, the example of this transmission is then, it's very important that you replace your transmission oil and you don't run out of oil because uh, if that happens, you are going to spend at least $4,000, something then probably you don't really need to do. So it, it, it's very important that you replace your oil probably after 500,000 miles, probably 700,000 miles will be uh, a good uh, amount of miles to probably depending because we, we know that some of us, we don't have the uh, budget to do these kind of repairs, uh, but some of you have the budget to do it. So if you have the budget to do it, do it fast. But if you don't, don't take too long to do it. So that is very important. So uh, you have to adjust yourself on how the repair has to be done, but it has to be done. Uh, it's very important that you check your level of the transmission. And if you see any leaks on the transmission lines or any leaks around the transmission, it's very important to fix it because you know the transmission is not something that you can check like your engine. On your engine, you can check the gauge and see where the level is. On the transmission, you have to actually go underneath and open this plug over here. This is the plug to check the transmission level right here. Many of you wonder where it is. It is right here on the driver's side, next to the air tanks or next to the chassis, depending on what chassis this vehicle is going to be. This is going to be the transmission uh, level plug. So you open this one and then you insert your finger here and you have to be able to touch it. As soon as you insert your finger, you have to be able to touch it. If you open the plug, and the oil style dripping, that means that the level is a little higher. But if you open the plug and, they, you, and there is no oil coming down and you insert your finger, 
and you go deep because you can insert it all the way deep like this and you still don't touch oil that means there is lowing oil you have to add oil to prevent problems and if it is lowing oil i would just suggest to replace the oil because if it's lowing oil that means then it could be a damage already happening on the transmission and if this already some damage happening on the transmission that means then the oil can have a lot of uh, debris from the transmission and that can actually cause major problems on your transmission but there are many things you know to maintain your transmission and this is just basic ones that i'm telling you um, transmissions are very expensive and they can break anywhere in this case this uh truck uh this uh truck came all the way from tucson something like that uh like well, like so it'd be like 400 600 miles away from here i'm not completely sure but uh it, it, the truck came from there with this damage and luckily it got here so in some cases the transmission just breaks and start making a really loud noise and that is the problem because you can no longer drive the truck and that is going to be a really really major problem because you have to pay a tow truck for sure and uh, you have to take it to the closest the nearest uh, repair shop because if for example we're in california right now and the truck breaks in new mexico uh we are like 1000 miles away so to bring that truck back that is going to be at least like four thousand dollars just on the tow truck so that is going to be like super expensive uh you can tow it yes you can buy i mean you can rent one of the little hooks you put on the field wheel so it's going to be cheaper but still it's going to go around like one thousand dollars because of your time fuel and everything else then you gotta uh, do to bring the truck back so still it's going to be expensive so no matter what it's going to be expensive but you can prevent that by replacing your transmission oil and uh, making sure that the level is in the correct level and there is no leaks on the transmission but uh this will be all i'm gonna be showing you right now about this transmission and if you want to take a look again you can see it again before we finish this video how damaged this transmission look so that way by seeing this you can take the idea on what actions you can do to prevent this type of issues on your truck and save a very large amount of money so um, if you have any questions about this video make sure to comment below and there you can leave all the questions and probably this video didn't uh, clarify so uh, probably i was not specific on what type of uh, uh, doubt you had so that is very important then you share on the description below that way we all can uh, learn for what you think or what is the doubt you have if i have the if i have the answer I will get it to you if i don't have the answer i will research it and i will give it to you but some of you can have the answer for other subscribers you can do it too you can answer all those questions then other uh, subscribers are going to have and you can do comments you can do uh, any type of uh, recommendations any type of experience if you have any experience about it it's very important then you can share it um, if you want to send any type of support to my channel check the description of the video i have details how to send support to my channel creating videos like this is very important for you and for me so you can support my channel so i can create more videos and subscribing to the channel we want more than enough if you don't want to do it so make sure to subscribe to the channel like the video share it with everybody and thank you for watching